This robot, priced at $2,900, presents a versatile solution for diverse tasks. It excels at maintaining balance on its two substantial wheels and can seamlessly adjust its orientation by relying on its two smaller wheels. With a top speed of 2 meters per second and an impressive payload capacity of up to 80 kilograms, it aptly handles a broad spectrum of responsibilities spanning from delivery and warehouse tasks to office support and entertainment. Notably, it can perform jumps of up to 8 centimeters and even execute entertaining moonwalks to engage users. The robot has a 3 to 4 hour operating range on a single battery and it has an easy to use joystick for navigation. It's interesting that some users have requested a larger model, imagining it as a motorcycle for motocross style trips, filled with challenges. It's unclear whether the designers will consider this suggestion. Certainly, I'm familiar with the concept of glamping, which combines the experience of being in nature with the comforts, typically associated with a good hotel. While the term is relatively recent, manufacturers quickly recognized its appeal and began producing glamping trailers or glampers. One luxurious model, developed in New Zealand, is available for $272,000. This 930-centimeter long trailer is fully equipped with a kitchenette, a bathroom featuring a shower, a water heating system, a toilet, and a dining area that can easily transform into a cozy bedroom. Additionally, a veranda can be made by flipping the interior portion of the trailer 90 degrees. It's a fully immersive glamping experience when you use the built-in 32-inch TVs with 4K capability and an 82-inch pull-down screen to unwind after a long day of outdoor activities. Rain on the road not only lowers the temperature but also creates hazardous puddles. Tire manufacturers caution that, if your tire tread measures less than 0.2 inches in depth, you should exercise extra caution in such conditions. Fortunately, a UK company has devised a remarkably simple solution to combat road water buildup. They've developed a super porous permeable concrete capable of absorbing a significant amount of water. In the first minute, it can soak up an impressive 1,050 gallons per 11 square feet and continue to absorb at a rate of 158 gallons per minute thereafter. However, it's important to note that this concrete isn't suitable for sub-zero temperatures at the moment. Nevertheless, the development team is actively addressing this issue. The dream of flying cars reminiscent of Back to the Future is inching closer to reality, but instead of flying cars, we have hydrogen fuel cell planes on the horizon. The exciting prospect is that these planes are expected to be mass-produced as early as 2025. One pioneering company has already received 250 orders for modernization, amounting to a billion dollars in total, with Air New Zealand, the country's largest air carrier, among their clientele. The key to this upgrade is the replacement of conventional engines with electric ones, directly powered by hydrogen cells, without the need for batteries. Furthermore, the company plans to utilize liquid hydrogen, addressing the storage challenge. Successful test flights have already demonstrated the promise of this technology, with a test plane spending 15 minutes in the air and reaching an altitude of 3.5 kilometers above sea level. This achievement signals the potential dawn of a new era in air travel, quieter and more environmentally friendly. Fleur Ocean Scout for those considering the previous glamping purchase, there's also the option of acquiring a compact thermal vision monocular, weighing a mere 170 grams. Despite its pocket-sized design, it packs the power to detect animals like foxes and squirrels from distances of up to 90 meters. With a battery life of up to 5 hours, it's quick to activate, taking just 5 seconds, and is operational in temperatures ranging from minus 20 to plus 40 degrees Celsius, making it an all-season tool for those new to such technology. Notably, this device offers the capability to capture your experiences on video or in photos, which you can instantly review on the built-in 640x480 display. It comes complete with a charging cable, protective lens cap, and a neck strap, all for a price of $649. Our selection continues with an intriguing car from a French startup, currently showcased as a show car, 
but with ambitious plans to launch in 2025. This vehicle is a hydrogen-powered crossover, and what makes it truly fascinating is its innovative fuel capsule system. These capsules will connect to a built-in fuel tank and have the potential to not only power cars, but also generators, household power plants, and more. This hydrogen crossover will be available in two versions, an all-wheel drive variant with 550 horsepower and a rear-wheel drive model, boasting 300 horsepower. Impressively, both versions offer a cruising range of approximately 497 miles. In Europe, the price for this innovative vehicle is set at 69,000 euros. While a mermaid fin won't magically transform a swimmer into a speedster, there are other devices designed for precisely that purpose. One such device is the Subnado, a compact underwater scooter weighing only 3 pounds. A single charge provides an hour of use, and the scooter can accelerate up to 4.6 feet per second, provided the swimmer weighs less than 143 pounds. If you opt to use two devices simultaneously, the speed can increase to 6.5 feet per second. The Subnado offers various attachment options. It can be secured to your legs, a surfboard, or controlled via a finger ring when worn on your arm. Interestingly, while such devices seem commonplace today, they were once part of spy technology, as seen in the 1965 movie Thunderball, the fourth installment in the Bond saga. Despite the bulkier appearance in the film, the underlying principle remains quite similar. Reflecting on this technological evolution, it's remarkable how we can now easily purchase what were once considered secret spy gadgets, with just a few clicks online, all within a span of approximately 50 years. Experts predict that by 2050, wave energy could supply approximately 10% of the world's energy needs, with a projected market value of around $100 billion. Many countries are eager to tap into this potential, including Brazil, which boasts a coastline stretching 7,500 kilometers. With a strategic approach, Brazil could potentially fulfill up to 17% of its energy requirements through wave energy and even establish exports. To kickstart this endeavor, plans are in place to construct 20 wave energy plants with a combined capacity of about 500 kilowatts. Here's how these wave energy plants function. Levers move up and down, creating pressure in a freshwater reservoir. This pressurized water is connected to a pressure chamber, which drives a turbine that, in turn, generates electricity. The project has already attracted investments of approximately $7.5 million, and Brazil currently derives a significant portion of its energy from renewable sources, reflecting a commitment to sustainability and green energy initiatives. Introducing the Treddy, a crawler robot, designed to captivate well-heeled customers. This innovative robot possesses a unique ability, it can effortlessly traverse walls and ceilings within certain structures, all thanks to a magnetic system. With the capability to submerge to a depth of one meter for up to half an hour, it excels at surmounting obstacles like stairs, fallen trees, large rocks, and pipes, courtesy of its lifting crawlers. Weighing in at 25 kilograms, a single charge provides two to three hours of operation, maintaining a modest pace of approximately two kilometers per hour. The Treaty offers optional extensions such as a camera system and robotic arms, and it can be conveniently controlled via an iOS or Android smartphone. For those with specific cargo needs, the RB9 version can transport up to 20 kilograms. However, this remarkable robot comes with a price tag of $59,000. An intriguing lighting solution has emerged, suitable for both private and commercial properties. These systems, akin to sunflowers, constantly track the sun's position and transmit light via fiber optics. The standard version comprises 36 lenses, a microprocessor, photosensors, and motors with an approximate power consumption of 10 watts. When employed with a 33-foot cable, the sunflower can gather around 6,000 lumens, accounting for all losses, resulting in an illuminating output of approximately 3,700 lumens. This level of luminosity is sufficient to illuminate an area spanning 323 to 430 square feet. 
the built-in filter effectively removes infrared and UV radiation, adding to its appeal. Experts have calculated that a significant portion of the world's electricity, around 20%, is consumed solely for artificial lighting, even during daylight hours. This innovative solution presents a promising step toward energy efficiency and sustainable lighting practices.